First of all, I would like to congratulate the organizer for this event. It's an honor to present you here this research, radio frequency and shockwave therapy in peroneal disease, systematic review and preliminary results of a pilot study. I'm Juliana, and this research is sponsored by Ibramet. As a fundamental start point, peroneal disease is a common yet poorly understood condition characterized by the presence of fibrotic plaques in tunica albuginia and pineal pen, curvature, sexual dysfunction, and psychological border is a common symptom. symptom. Besides that, treatment options depend the degree of the symptom. The surgical is an effective treatment so far is the plaque removal through a surgical procedure. procedure. However, the rate of post-surgical impotence is high. The search for non-surgical treatment procedure with low cost and risk are constant. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy is an acoustic wave which carries high energy and low frequency, but its ineffectiveness on PD treatment is still controversial. Radio frequency is a geotherm technique which action on collagen and elastin molecules relieve the tissue. Our report and objective of the study was verify the results of the shockwave therapy usage on PD treatment through a systematic review and describe the effect of shockwave therapy plus radio frequency therapy on patients with peroneal disease. So for this, we conduct a systematic review according to PRISMA and they use a specific keywords and the specific orientation and the inclusion criteria where studies published until December 2020 that evaluated the outcome of curvature of the penis. The pilot study was conducted with 10 patients with PD symptoms that were forwarded to a reference center in Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. The diagnosis was confirmed by a radiologist performed a ultrasonographic images of the plaque after actual induction through the application of a specific, a specific firm uh, is described here. And after that, the ultrasonography images was responsible uh, for this penis study through the ventral face scan, evaluating the transversal and in the longitudinal from the glands to the base of the penis, searching for hyperconic focal thickening of the tunica albuginia and evaluation it is mentioned. Still, with their actual induction, it was performed a photographic documentation to measure the penis angulation with the patient in orthostasis. It was investigated in the, capac the capacity of the penetration and classified in one, two, three, absent, present and painful, and present of uh, not painful. The use of radio frequency and shockwave therapy in, in our study was performed by physiotherapists who used Ibramed's device, like torque model, with specific parameters, and uh, for radio frequency is a uh, near tech model with specific parameters. Before it was performed, the plaque was popped to identify the application spot. At the end of treatment, the evaluation protocol was repeated and the patient was questioned about the treatment satisfaction on a scale scale zero until 10. We found uh, 13 articles with the inclusion criteria. After all of the analysis based in this article, it's right to conclude that. Shockwave therapy is a non-invasive therapy, safe, and the compliance, um, 600, uh, more than 600 patients of, on the use of extracorporeal shockwave therapy in relation to peroneal disease, the most is that there is no clear biological theory for the effects of the application and does not point to benefits in relation to curvature. 
For these reasons, it seems reasonable to test the application associated to another technique, like radio frequency. Although there was a reduction in the plaque, length measuring, and in disangulation through the photographic documentation, however, it is important to say that the plaque thickness and or the histological tissue evaluation better represent the change, changes through the treatment of uh, shockwave plus radio frequency. The satisfaction with the treatment was related to the penetration capacity, but as the satisfaction was not maximum, it's supposed that the penis appearance influence aesthetics decreasing satisfaction. Besides, another hypothesis is related to the technique pyramids, like application, frequency, and number of factions. And uh, we didn't uh, found the pattern of these variables in our um, systematic review. After that, we conclude the systematic review, revealed that the shockwave therapy don't seem to be an effective choice for PD patients when related to the curvature outcomes. That said, more high quality studies are necessary to overcome the limitation of the current data. For now, in the pilot study, there were no reports of adverse effects besides there was a change in the all patient satisfaction in ultrasonographic exam measure, in the angulation measure, and in the penetration capacity is the measured, the radio frequency plus shockwave therapy appears to be a promising therapeutic patient for peroneal disease, but requiring more randomized clinical trials. Thank you.